Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede back at Garden with me, Mitchell Gino Suede. Once again, we are here. This is the second video for the year 2019. Of course, if you have not realized that I'm back on Agro Suede back at Garden, I'd just like to welcome you to Agro Suede back at Garden's second video for 2019, of course. In last week's video, I showed you how you could prune your peppers seven days before full moon so that your peppers can sprout out new leaves. I got a request from Bernadette requesting not directly the video, but she was asking questions in regards to what to do with a pepper plant as uh, it don't have leaves on it and the leaves are sort of you know yellowish and the best solution I can give in regards to this is based on what I saw is that she needed to prune the plant the pepper plant needs pruning the reason why you would need to prune your pepper plant is because eventually the pepper plant will get exhausted so you need to prune it so that it could send out new shoots and start production all over again now if you don't know in order for your plants to send out a lot of leaves or new branches, you should actually prune it seven days prior to full moon date. Because as the moon is rising, it is forcing growth outwards. That means that it will force out new branch, branch sprouts or new leaves. So here's the reason last week we pruned one of the pepper plants and here's a picture of it actually. And as you can see, the leaves are actually starting to come out. It's basically right here. Obviously it's below here because it's lower down. But I will show it to you in the pictures right here. And you can see the new leaves are coming out. It's basically seven days a week and you can see it's not new leaves. That means that you can prune your plant seven days before and this will cause the plant to send out a lot more leaves, okay? But in this video feature, I'm going to show you how you can actually prune your pepper plant to allow it to remain short and to control where you would like it to go basically if you prune it while it's tall you could prune it halfway that will cause the plant to stop grow out but to grow um, basically upwards but to grow downwards this will cause the plant basically to stay short and bushy and you know in a control area if you would like to prune it in such a way so it will send out new branches on another side you can go ahead and do that too but in this video feature the main thing I'm gonna show you is how I'm gonna prune it so that it will remain at a consistent height so that it could send out new fruits and new um, branches basically lower down okay same thing will happen with the plant we did last week however it will send out a lot more branches because I pruned it before full moon remember this okay the main reason for doing this one now to control or to prevent it from stop growing outwards okay so if I put it here if I just cut half of it it will basically focus on root growth from this moment on as the moon is going down it's going to focus on the roots which means the plant is going to slow down on the leaf and the upwards growth okay now before i do so before i actually prune it i'm gonna have to have the peppers and i would really suggest that before you prune your plant um so that it could remain short please harvest the fruits okay and as you can see i've got quite a lot of red peppers on there um so this is pretty good as you can, one of my plants or one of the pepper plants is the only one that is actually very productive hence the reason last week i had to prune the other these are the peppers i'm not quite sure if you can see it these are the peppers. They are seasoning peppers. They are not hot peppers. I don't really like hot peppers. Although it's good to plant hot peppers in your backyard garden because you can keep away bugs and you can actually use hot peppers as a remedy to um, actually fight insects naturally. Perhaps I will do a video on that sometime in the future. Okay, so we have no more peppers on the tree. I went ahead and I harvest all the peppers, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna prune the pepper so that you can see. I'm not quite sure if you've observed, but I've got this branch right here. Here it is, this branch right here. It's tall, basically taller than the desired height I would like it. And if you notice right here, this is where I would like the plant to remain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to cut just underneath this area here. So all the branches from here, I'm going to have to prune it so the tree could know at this point I need it to stop and I would like it to focus more on this area right here to produce peppers. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, so here it is. I went ahead and I pruned the pepper plant at a certain height. I even feel like I should go lower with it, but I'll decide um, at some point in the future. 
Now, don't be afraid to prune your pepper plant, even if there is flowers. Guys, you can see. Not sure if they allow me to get it for you to see for you guys to see. There are flowers, or this would have been a flower, and a pepper. But at times you have to go ahead and sacrifice these guys so that you could get a lot more out of your plant. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to place this in the compost. Um, sometime in the future, next time I prune a pepper, I'm gonna show you how you can actually plant it so that it could grow. Okay, thank you so very much for sticking around and watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, of course, please feel free to WhatsApp me. My WhatsApp number is one seven six seven six one seven zero two two four. Or you could leave a comment under this video or any of the Agusweet video, and I'll try my best to, of course, respond to you there. Of course, don't forget, guys, a backyard garden in some ways to keep the doctors away. And Agus Wade is out. Jungle Bay is reinventing itself. This award-winning vacation haven has, for over a decade, wowed visitors with an authentic Caribbean vacation featuring nature, yoga, hiking, spa treatments, and healthy organic cuisine. Rated in TripAdvisor's top three hotels in the Caribbean and a top hotel in Dominica, this leading sustainable tourism model has been able to realize higher than industry average occupancy rates and profits. The new Jungle Bay, envisioned by award-winning developer Sam Raphael, is set to be bigger and better. Welcome to our new Jungle Bay. Ten years ago, we introduced our first luxury, eco-friendly property, which has become an international sensation. We're excited to invite you to explore a new property, which sits on one of the most scenic areas of the nature isle of Dominica. Jungle Bay has distinguished itself as one of the world's leading sustainable tourism models. The new property will feature 120 luxury eco villas, two swimming pools, restaurants, a world class spa, two yoga studios, as well as a gift shop plus other amenities and infrastructure. I also want to point out some construction features that make Jungle Bay sustainable and unique. Our energy comes from the sun and the stones and other construction material come from the property with little adverse impact on the environment. Jungle Bay family believes in positively impacting the social and economic landscape of the villages around us and we are always pleased to have our guests participate in that fulfilling experience. We at Jungle Bay are looking forward to hosting our clients again. Our guests choose Jungle Bay for an active vacation for adventure and wellness or for a yoga or meditation retreat with a favorite teacher. A typical day at Jungle Bay starts with sunrise yoga, followed by outdoor activities like hikes, kayaking, snorkeling, and other fun activities like a Caribbean cooking class or a drumming class. You wind down your day with a relaxing spa treatment and of course, a delicious dinner. Our commitment is still to provide a sustainable livelihood to our community, while we provide our guests with a world-class experience they will never forget. Come June 1st, 2019, Jungle Bay plans to start welcoming the first of its visitors. For more information, visit our website at www.junglebaydominica.com. We are waiting to give the experience of a lifetime.